Thank you. Um, so last night at the vision dinner, there was a question that was posed to Pastor Billy, and it was a very simple question. It was, Billy, why are you here at LCC? And so I thought I might try to answer that question myself. So I was married in 2004 to my wife, Erica, and um, we welcomed our first daughter into the world in 2008, and we're our second daughter into the world in 2010. And um, I graduated from Purdue, and we moved here. We're from the Northwest Indiana region. We moved here in uh, 2004, and um, I went to work, and Erica went to work, and we began our lives together in 2004. And um, we started going to a church here in Lafayette um, on the east side of town, and uh, we went to that church for eight years. And so for the first eight years of our existence together, the first eight years we were together, um, life was good. We had money, we had cars, we had home, we had two beautiful kids, and we had health, and everything was, was, was really good. And then 2012 came along, and towards the end of 2012, God did one of these things where he hit us with a bag of rocks. I won't get into everything that was in the bag of rocks, but um, I don't know if you can resonate with a time that God touched your life, and he did so in a way that's very difficult to deal with. But that's what happened in our lives in, in late 2012. And so during that time, as we were going through that period of time, it was a time of self-reflection. It was a time where we sought God more, and it was a time that he drew us closer to him. And he revealed something that was very important to us in that time. He revealed to us that in the eight years that we had spent together, we had done a very good job of building a very solid routine of going to church. And we had done a very good job of building the impression that we knew Jesus and that we were living a life for Jesus. We pulled the wool over everybody's eyes, and we did so very successfully. And then when we came to LCC, we attended a starting point class. And in that class, Jeff said something to us that was kind of God speaking to us. He said, Jake and Erica, we love you guys, but LCC is not a church that was built for you guys. And if you've been to a starting point class and you know the history of LCC and how it was established, you know kind of what that means. LCC is a church that, you know, we help find people who have not heard the word of God, who know nothing about Jesus, and um, we, we target people that are seeking full life in Christ. But anyway, when I heard God say in that moment, it wasn't, it was a very sad moment for me and Erica, not because Jeff was telling us that this church wasn't necessarily for us, but it's that God was confirming for me and Erica exactly what he was telling us. Our story was capable of deceiving anybody. We were a good story. We went to church. We spent time teaching a youth group. We led a Bible study at our, at our house. We were involved in a prayer team in our church. We lived a very solid church life. But here's what we didn't do. We didn't put into play even the most basic of things that we're called to do. We carried our Bibles to church, but we never opened the covers. We talked about prayer, and we told people, we'll pray for you. Oh, we're praying for you. Have you ever said that to anybody? But we never did pray. We had built a foundation that looked really good from the outside. And then God did one of these, and a very simple touch kicked it over. We were very empty. So we came to LCC. Why do I tell you that? Because as I take on this eldership role, Lafayette Community Church has a mission. And that's to help people find full life in Christ. I know what it is to live a pretend life in Christ. I know what it is to live a weak life in Christ. Lafayette Community Church helped me and my wife find full life in Christ. And I'm a firm believer that anybody who comes here will have an experience of the love of Jesus, just like we did. So I'm on this, this mission. I believe in the vision that is LCC. I wholeheartedly do. And Prater taught me something about missions. And this is how, you know, the mission that we're on together. We think about the Boy Scout missions when we talk about, you know, we're on a mission to do this. 
But, um, you know, Prater, like he said, he has some military experience. And what he taught me about missions are they're hard. They're difficult. They take challenge. They take perseverance. And sometimes they are accompanied by loss. And so the mission is difficult. But I am committed to the mission that is the vision of LCC, to help people find full life in Christ. So as I answer the question, why am I here? It's for that reason.